Me when I afraid to to nini. <laughs> Kuzima camera. Yes, we can hear your music. Sawa. Good morning, founders. Karibuni sana. Welcome to our weekly Thursday uh, conversations. We are very glad to have you here. If you're new, you're in the right place. Most welcome. I know I promised you breakfast last week, but today I have so much more 
so so much more you will definitely enjoy it better than uh, bacon and eggs and juice this is so much more my name is nora mboya i'm a founder for the for express for success it's a communication uh, company and my co-host is cindy joel i am the community manager at founders network and an ambassador in the aspire program yeah, so Karibuni Sana, kindly share your name, your business, and where you're listening to us from. And uh, let's just um, come together to the table and have an awesome time. So um, now that uh, cessation of movement was lifted for a bit, what would your destination, your dream destination uh, place be for a small holiday, just to get away from all this um, COVID conversations? Where would you like to be? Where would you like to go for just a little holiday, a week or two? We'll take a small poll and uh, this will close in uh, a minute. Just your dream destination. Mm, we can go to Diani. Nora, what's your dream destination? Um, Phuket, actually. Where's Kuket? It will come up again with that name. <laughs> oh, where there's sandy beaches and the sunrise and sunsets, beautiful sunsets. That's mm -hmm. where I'd like to be. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is it in well, Kenya? <laughs> uh, currently, because no, I don't know where is that Kuket? Is it in Kenya? It might be my next destination. I'll send you pictures. I'll share pictures. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful. Oh. Thailand. It's in Thailand. Ah, please yeah. do. <laughs> that might be my next destination. Currently, um, I just want to, probably just to go to Shago. Oh, yeah. Not I know, I know. The, an unwinding thing. <laughs> yes, we have missed, we have definitely missed the uh, village with all the nice sounds of animals and stuff. Yeah, the fresh air. Crow and fresh air, no traffic. Mm hmm Yes. So founders, uh, if you can see a poll, please tell us and, and tell us where your dream destination will be. If you're joining in, we are taking a small poll to see where you'd like to be on uh, your dream destination for a week or two to get away from this COVID conversations, Mr. COVID announcement. <laughs> now that is where I want to go to Shago. You know, you know, Shago, maybe before I see COVID, it will take a time. Really? Yes, I'll just assume I don't want to see COVID. I want to go to the farm and farm, look at nature. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we have a founder saying they'd like to go to the USA. Wow. Where in the USA? The USA is big and right now it's COVID all over. <laughs> <laughs> where uh -huh. they go to Florida? Mm -hmm. California, where? I don't know, maybe they tell us. But what, 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 what holiday destinations did you have for us, Nora, that you wanted to take us on holiday? Samburu, something quick, you know, somewhere you can uh, rush to without, uh, you know, the skies are not yet open, really. Mm -hmm. So Samburu, Masai Mara, Masai Mara should be very good right now. We have the wildebeest uh, migration. Diani, the cleanest beaches in uh, Kenya. Quiet. You'll feel like you're in seashells, I promise. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. where else did you want the to take village. Us? There's also the village. Yeah, for uh, Cindy and others who have missed uh, the sound of cows. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope there's nobody who will not be able to go because they cannot leave their business. Okay. So founders can share with us in the chat box where they'd like to go. Nora has said she's giving us holiday destinations of Samburu, Masai Mara, Diani, or Shags or Ushago for people like me. And if you can't go because right now your business is your priority, please share with us in the chat box. We'd like to know. Mm -hmm. 
not a, in the in the the four destination places where is your destination where would you like to go diani of course okay no that is the sun, love the water <laughs> no no you love the fine things okay. oh yes any day <laughs> any day uh we have participants saying from the village another one Bujumbura, wow yeah Good morning, Lucy. Karibuni, Karibuni. Lucy says Diani. So we have a person from Diani, the village. Anyone, yeah. who, you don't want to go to Masai Mara? And you also, if you can't go because your business is a priority, feel free to tell us that in the in the chat box. Wow, someone wants to go to the north of Kenya. Wow, Denise. Beautiful. Mm hmm. So we can all leave our businesses and run there, right? Yeah, it seems they can all leave their business <laughs> and run for this holiday. So tell us how we get the holiday ticket. Coming up soon, coming up soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Closing uh, voting shortly. For Samburu, Masai Mara, Diani, the village with all its sounds and fresh air and green vegetables. And please don't say you can't go. Please don't say you cannot go because you cannot leave your business. Naivasha. I also love Naivasha, Isaac. What don't you love? <laughs> <laughs> you live in the village and want to go to USA, Miami. Wow. We will show you how you can leave your business and actually hop onto a plane. The minute the sky is open, Shanisa. <laughs> yeah. So um mm -hmm. so as we are as we are about to close on the voting, I just want to share with you some uh, virtual room guidelines. Um as usual, please mute your microphone when not speaking and unmute before you start speaking. Use the chat session. Yes, that one that uh, we have the uh, been voting on, use the chat session to share and to respond to messages as well as ask questions. To avoid distractions, put your phone on silent, please. Open session browser, everyone. Um, then feel free to tweet using the hashtag on the screen. Yay. And finally, turn your camera on so that we can know, um, we can get to know you. We'd love to see your faces. Yeah. So that when we meet on the street, uh, we don't pass you by. If you have a flat tire, perhaps. <laughs> or if you're dishing out uh, gold. We put on masks, you won't see us. You won't recognize us. <laughs> no, 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 no. COVID is going. COVID is going okay. very soon. Yes. Amen. Really. Yeah. So we're going to have a great morning. And um, we're, we're going to have one more poll just to get us on the right footing for today's discussion. So kindly indulge us. So in our next poll, we are talking legacy. So does your business have a legacy that it will allow you to pack your bags and fly to the US? Yeah, Shanisa. Yeah, what to <laughs> signify a legacy? Can you leave your business and uh, move on? Just for a quick holiday. So that's the next poll we are taking. Yeah, one, if you have a legacy, two, uh, if you do not, and three, if you're still working on one, just tell us. Now, please share with us. Yeah. So do you have a, a legacy? One, you, uh, do you not have a legacy? Two, and uh, three, if you're still working on one, let us know. Please what share your you? responses. And we'll close this in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. So legacy. So one, you, now that you told us one is yes, if we don't have a legacy. Yes. One is yes, we have a legacy. Two, if we don't. Yes. Three is if you are working on one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, like um, sometimes uh, people, especially I'm, I'm thinking about um, maybe dentists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if they don't have an understudy or a, a co-worker, they might not be able to go on holiday or to go anywhere really. 
Okay. The, yeah. So we want to, a founders network, we want to give you, to make it possible for you to actually be able to take off on holiday, go and enjoy yourself or when something comes up, go and receive your Nobel prize for the best uh, <laughs> business ideas. Yeah. So this is what we are talking about today. This is exciting, isn't it? Does it yeah, take better than bacon and eggs and sausages? <laughs> that one we are left to think about. If it's better than bacon or sausage, founders <laughs> tell us if what Nora is serving is better than bacon and sausage. So share with us if you have a legacy, one signifies yes, two is no, then three if you're working on it. Nora, where do you fall in the poll? I'm working on it. So you are number three, you're working on it. I am working on it. I have to go to Phuket. <laughs> I have to go to Phuket. Okay. Yes. Most people are saying they are working on one. But zip, uh, we have most three, three, three seems to be taking the lead. Most people are saying they are working on one. Then uh, Zippy has said she has one. Excellent. Have it yeah. in my plan, building it. <laughs> Nisa, holiday to Miami coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> holiday loading. Okay. Then we have yeah. Lucy. Lucy is saying not yet. They're working on one. Uh huh. Two. Denise is saying no, they do not have. Shanisa says they have it in their plan and they are building it. Well, Shanisa, we hope it materializes so that it when going Nora... to, after today's conversation, mm -hmm. we're all so going on holiday. Okay. So two, we have uh, two are saying no, no. We have people who are saying no, they don't have a legacy. Okay. So we only have one yes, apparently. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Nora, if you're working on your legacy, how are you working on it? Do you have it in plan? Yes, it's a work in progress. Okay. Yes, I'm putting things together because like I said, Diani and Phuket, Phuket you have to go. <laughs> and I still have to make money even when I'm away. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the bills, the bills cannot uh, go on holiday. Okay. So the bills cannot go on holiday. Those are your results for the poll. Tell us, most people are saying they are working on it. And we have around two people telling us, no, they don't have a legacy with only one yes. So end the poll for us, Nora. Okay, so we are going to end the poll in a bit, in the next uh, five seconds. Uh, and then we shall share the results um, at some point. Excellent, excellent. So we have mm -hmm. ended the poll. Thank you so much for your participation. Yeah, so I'll hand you over to Cindy. Ah, thank you so much, Nora, for starting us off on such a high note, uh, the holiday part. I can't wait to get to, to Phuket. I hope I'll pronounce it correctly. So <laughs> in, in Thailand, okay. As for me, living a legacy is something I am working towards creating. I am not there yet. I don't have one because I always ask myself, what will I be remembered for? With all my unique talents and gifts, will I have passed them down? I am running that race of creating a legacy and I'm keeping my eyes focused on the prize. So Nora, I'll also have a legacy. When you give us holiday tickets, I'll just pack and go. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so William James, let me share a quote by William James. He says, the great use of life is to spend it on something that will outlast it. While we mull over that thought, let me share something about Founders Network. Founders Network is a group of founders that have come together through partnership initiatives for the economic growth of small and medium enterprises. Our vision is to ensure SMEs enhance their competence, grow their networks, and prepare to receive capital through our revolving fund known as Catalyst. Our three major delivery platforms are one, the Profit Academy. The Profit Academy is an online platform to connect with our certified mentors and coaches. It is not anything like a normal school setting. It is, an, it is something that is better experienced than explained. Two is our Aspire program. 
Aspire is a youth apprenticeship program that targets men and women aged between 22 to 30 years by helping them identify their passion and turn it into profit. I am an ambassador in the Aspire program and I'm very passionate about that program because of my passion for the youth. Then three is our Founders Network, a rich mentoring community that supports small and growing business owners on how to be competent, compliant, and capital ready. There is no monopoly of knowledge, and through the right conversations, we continue to share ideas and insights, which when put to practice, will see founders thriving. So at Founders Conversation, it is always an idea exchange because we believe no one knows everything. So in today's lineup, we will have a talk on legacy by our founder, Frida Owinga, then the founder's spotlight, and then we'll wind up with some exciting news on what is happening in our community. Our community is always a beehive of exciting activities. So let me bring up on board Frida Owinga. Frida Owinga has over 20 years of experience in business development and dying fire to see SMEs grow and succeed, so have found passion profit. She strongly believes that each and every person has a unique talent to contribute to this world, which when correctly harnessed and packaged, your passion can become a very profitable venture. She's always up and about finding new ways of doing things. Frida is a mother of three young men and a grandmother to one pretty little lady. So with Frida, you'll always identify your passion. Like for me, it's a personal journey and I've always identified a passion that I've never knew I can harness it into a profitable venture. So Frida, welcome on board. Thank you. Cindy, you're so funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> you always make me laugh. All right, thank you so much. And uh, Karibuni Sana founders, it's great to have you here every Thursday. For me, I have two Sundays in my week, Cindy. You, you have one Sunday, I have two. Because on Sunday, Thursday is my Sunday because this is, this is my pulpit. This is when I serve people and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, great to see you here. So where are we going from here? I think this profile needs to be changed and say, Frida is a mother of many business owners. <laughs> and a grandmother of many <laughs> yeah because <laughs> all the business owners uh, that you know i mentored by god i've been mentoring by god's grace since uh, only god knows when for the last 20 years uh, i think uh, that needs to be changed and that is really our conversation for today and uh, i'm excited because uh passion profit has been in existence for the last 10 years and uh today what you see is nothing like when it started in 2009 and it's exciting to see people in our team who have walked, you know, who have followed me or who have walked with me for these last years. And that is really what we are going to be sharing about. And uh, to get us started, I just want us to look at uh, how the how COVID is changing mind shifts so that uh, I'm sure you all have an idea of what legacy is meaning for you. But I want to share with you what legacy means for us here at Passion Profit and indeed the founders community. So I have a slide here that I want to share with you on mind shifts of uh, mind shifts, yeah, on mind shifts of organization transformation. Because what saddens me is that people get used to things. We are conditioned to the corporate culture. But as founders and as small business owners, you don't need to be stuck with the corporate culture. Why? Because corporate culture, people are stressed, they are sad, they have lots of money, and they have fake security. And those are very strong statements, I say with love and respect. Corporate culture is filled with people who are stressed, people who are sad, and people who have a fake security of the big check. And COVID-19 is writing, is writing on the wall for us today. And uh, your passion is your only security. The problems that exist around you are the only security. Because as long as we are alive, there's always problems. As long as we are alive, you have your passion. And if you can find a problem to fix with your passion, then you'll make money. And guess what? God cannot allow you to be alive and not have a problem to fix. 
because as long as you're alive, you are still relevant. And that is something I need you to get, all right? So are we ready for this or are we ready? If you're ready, are you ready? Yes, let me see a yes, yes in the chat if you're ready to hear this. Because you know when it's Frida, it's not nonsense. It is the real truth. And then you need to sit, catch on you because when Frida speaks, you either catch feelings or you catch wisdom. My prayer for you is that you'll catch wisdom. I come with non-traditional insights and strategies to help you build a legacy. And I'm here to let you know that COVID is a springboard to your new level, not next level. You know, next level is going from, the, from one floor to another floor of the same building. But I'm saying new level, Utahama from that building that you're in, all right? And get into a brand new building. Do you hear me? All right, so if you're ready, let's do this. Awesome, I see some yeses. Ah, people are ready. There's a so Ooh, many let's things. do this. So sit square because you're going to be getting some truth. The truth will set you free. And sometimes it will scratch you before you get free. So let's do this, people. So in the Mindset for Organization Transformation, I want you to notice at the top, we are moving from profit to purpose. Moving from profit to purpose does not mean that you will not make profit. It means that you will be prosperous. You know the profit we see in our audited accounts? <laughs> when my accountant used to show me, before we did, started doing the profit literacy, and the accountant would show me the audited accounts and show a profit, I'll be like, because the money will not be in the account. It has been spent. So we are breaking that tradition of you know, profit seen in historical data to profit first, where you get profit from every sale. And you get profit from every sale because you're living in your purpose. And if you don't know how to do that, stay, uh, stay tuned and listen to what we have for you in Activate. So you need to stay till the end because we have some really fantastic bonuses for you. So number one, we are moving from profit to purpose. It's not all about the bottom line. It's about transformation. It's about prospering. It's about the abundance that God has put us here to get. And let me be very clear about this. If you are uncomfortable talking about God in the marketplace, I'm really sorry for you because God is is the one who has woken us up today and has kept us here. People have asked me many times, is this, a, is this a religious platform? It's not a religious platform, but it's a spiritual platform. We believe in God because it is God that has made it able for you to sit there and watch me. And I say that without any apologies. I'm really sorry if that offends you because we need to come to a place that we recognize God. COVID has flattened the world. Who is keeping us away? This God that you want us to be political correct about, not at Founders Conversation. You are welcome, no matter your religion, no matter your decree, everyone knows that there is a God, and the God we serve is one for all of us. So number one, we are moving from profit to purpose. Who gives us purpose? God the creator. Number two, we are moving from hierarchies to networks. And you're going to, I'm going to share with you the network of our leadership network team. I'm going to share with you our support network team. Because we are networked. Every time you come to Founders Conversation, Cindy says that we are a group of and we are a group of founders who have come together. Even her, she's an emerging founder. All right. So we are going to show you how this works. So from hierarchies, Madam, uh, you know the CEO. I don't know the who, the who, and then they hold information from other people. That kind of nonsense doesn't happen here, and will not help your business thrive. Remember, you are a startup. You can create what you want to serve the people God has called you to so that we have a better world. If you get that, can I see a yes in the, can I see a yes in the chat? <laughs> if you get that you are a startup, you're an entrepreneur, you're not a corporate conglomerate, you're an individual called to serve people in the marketplace and you are a movement, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> but the reason why we struggle is because we don't have capital to pay this big with people, but you can enter into a network kind of arrangement and know how to work together and I'll show you how. The next thing is we are moving from controlling to empowering. I used to do Founders Conversation. I have done Founders Conversation since 2015, by the way. Cindy, did you know Founders Conversation started before you were born? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she's going to kill me later. I know you are born. Were you born before or after 2015? Ah, I was Jesus. born. <laughs> were you already there? Okay. Maybe Founders Conversation was started when Cindy was still running around in diapers. <laughs> and today she's the host. So what am I saying? We are empowering people. All right. The lady you see that is co-hosting with her. Uh, and Cindy was born way beyond 2015. Don't listen to me. 
So the thing about it is we're moving from controlling to empowering. If you've been in corporate, you know that control systems that work at corporate. I love corporate, but I'm talking to founders. I'm not talking to corporate. If I'm talking to founders, can I see a yes, yes there, all right? Because you are trying to create something that you run from. What is wrong with you? Stop copying corporate. You're not corporate, you're an entrepreneur. You're a, you're a history maker. You're the one who said, bye-bye security, fake security check. I am jumping in, I am swimming, and you're going to swim, and we're going to change this country. Because you and I are going to create decent, sustainable jobs using this mind shift transformation that I'm sharing with you. If you agree, can I see a yes, yes? If you agree, you're a, start, you're a founder, <laughs> you're a movement maker, you're a history maker, let me see a yes there. We're talking about impactful legacy. It starts with the mind shift of you understanding that all the wonderful things you learned and did at corporate are not going to work in the SME ecosystem. SMEs are here to create decent, sustainable work for themselves and for others. And that does not mean a 30 day paycheck. I'm going to show you what that means so that you can start figuring out how to grow your team and do the things that God has called you to do. And we can change our economy. Today, I'm not laughing with anybody. I want you to get it because it's, it's I have an urgency in my spirit that we need to get it because God is not waiting for any man. This time and chance is going to pass. COVID is going to end. Where will you be? Are you still looking for the traditional structures of the past or are you ready to embrace the new sense and shape the new normal? That is what I'm talking about today. We are not here to play small. We are here to create jobs. We are here to help the economy of this country. After all, the Bible has told us that we will lend to nations. All right, so we, we are still crying, oh, Serikalist idea, Serikalist idea. My friend, things are changing and don't be left behind. So now as we carry on here from planning, so we are moving from profit to purpose. You need to know your purpose. If you know your purpose, you will prosper. You will not just have profit, you will have profit and some. Number two, we are moving from hierarchies controlling hierarchies of I am the CEO, so my door must be closed. I have somebody bringing my tea and driving me around. And there's nothing wrong with those things. However, in a network community, anyone can access you. I'm the founder of Passion Profit and the other brands within Passion Profit brands, but Cindy can access me on WhatsApp. She's the founder, she's a community manager. She's the founder's conversation host. Our office manager, Molly, can access me anytime she wants. So. How, how is the access level in your organization? Is it hierarchical? Is it networked? And you're going to remote working. So here, remember your hierarchy is old. If you agree that this hierarchy business is old school, please put the, can I see a yes, yes there in the chat? So the second thing, the new, the organization transformation is moving from planning to experimentation. Because you have been conditioned, especially if you've worked in corporate, Corporate can be a curse or a blessing. I've worked with hundreds of people from corporate that corporate is a curse on them because they do not know how to do very simple things. They were sheltered in this big corporate conglomerate. They cannot do things on their own. They keep, how can I do a Google document? How can I do a Google sheet? Because they were being paid for Microsoft Office. All right, Google is free, my friend. All right, and it saves your documents. Your documents don't hide. So I say with a lot of love and respect, corporate can be a curse or corporate can be a blessing. When you come into the startup space, you need to understand there's no there's nobody to call to do stuff for you. You are it, all right? So you must be willing to experiment. And if your team expects to come in and find things arranged orderly, like things were arranged in corporate, that is not a startup team. Let them go and look for a job. Because in SME world, you need to show up with your gifts. I was speaking, I was listening, I was listening to a conference on, uh, I was listening to a conference on Saturday in the UK. Yes, Cindy, I was in the UK on Saturday. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. I was in the UK. You still want to take people to Atamu? I don't know where. Me, I was in the UK. <laughs> so I attended this fantastic conference and it was talking about the realm of possibilities. And one of the speakers says that a leader shows up with his or her gifts. And showing up with your gifts 
is a typical entrepreneur mind shift because when you show up, you're showing up to create that which I has not seen or no ear has heard. So people that come into your organization and are expecting everything to be click clock, click clock, and the organization is not yet 10 years old and they don't know how to do it, they're good friends, they're not necessarily good partners. So you need to watch out about that. And that's a story for another day. And if you don't hear me carefully, you will hear me saying that chaos is okay. No. Chaos is not okay, but as an entrepreneur, you must be willing to tolerate chaos and lead out of the chaos because things are not perfect on day one. Adam had things perfect on day one and we saw the trouble that we had. Somebody like David was, David was anointed king and for 13 years he worked in the wilderness before he got into the, he got into the palace. Why am I using this example? As entrepreneurs, you want to go to a class for one week and your business changes. It can't happen like that, friends. Whether you're a Christian or not, the universal laws call for sea time and harvest. It's a universal law that until you sow, you cannot reap. You cannot go into a class for five days and expect your business to run like clockwork after the five days. And that's why at Passion Profit, we allow you we work with you for a year and we work with you for a year. You go for a boot camp. We keep giving you information in small doses so that you're working on your business as we are working with you. You are experimenting. You're finding out if it works or it doesn't work. The world is changing, friends. We are sensing and shaping the new normal. There's no certainty. So stop harassing people about chaos, all right? It's a chaotic time, but we are coming out and going to, the, to a new level. If you know you're coming out and going to a new level, let me just see your yes, yes there. If you're tracking along with me, let me see. Am I making sense to you? If I'm making sense to you, because Mumenyamaza sana hapo kwa chat. So the next organization transformation, Cindy, have I lost you? Ama you're there. I am here. We are digesting. When we are quiet, we are digesting information. <laughs> have I lost Express for Success? Express for Success, who <laughs> I am here. I, I can hear you. I love that energy at a 10. That's right. So finally, in the mind shift transformation for organization transformation, if you're going to build an impactful legacy, note I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to those people that are aware COVID is an opportunity for us to go to a new level. I'm talking to those people who are aware that corporate can be a curse or a blessing. I'm talking to that person who is saying, I want to be a history maker. I want to, a movement will come out of me, like a movement of founders is coming out of freedom. If that is you, then continue paying attention. If you want to build a corporate, if you want to build Absa and Safaricom, people will not know who has started the organization. You are in the wrong meeting. You need to dial out. This is founders conversation for people who are saying, I am called to fix a certain age. I am called to solve this problem. We as founders at Founders Network, we are called to support SMEs to go beyond their fifth birthday. You will hear Melvin talk about that all the time. You'll hear Maurice talk about policies that will ensure that we are comfortable and thriving, all right? And then you'll hear Frida making noise about what do you need to do to turn your passion into profit. Sawa, sawa. So have, stick with me and I'll show you how. So we are moving from privacy to transparency. Do you see how when you get onto when we get onto what you call it, when you get onto people's websites, there's always a policy that you need to click on. And that's a huge topic that Njao can cover for you. Njao is our IT director. But the truth about thing is people are becoming more transparent. This member of Kuji feature feature all the time. <laughs> it's not even godly. I like even when Safari <laughs> comes says we are simple, transparent, and something else. All right. So do you get that, my friends? Because today I know we have friends and founders. So mind shifts for organization, we are moving from profit to purpose. What is your purpose beyond making money? How is the world going to be a better place because you existed? The world is going to be a better place because passion profit existed. There will be more people generating reliable recurring revenue by doing the things that they love and enjoy. Number two, we are moving from hierarchies to networks. I will show you just now. We are moving from controlling to empowering. If you haven't seen it, you have seen Cindy take, my, take over my seat and make me retire. <laughs> Cindy, well done to you. Cindy, You're coming. You're Cindy coming Founders to Network was started problem. before Cindy was born. Today, she's the boss of Founders Network. That is what we talk about from controlling to empowering. She's the head of this show, by the way. Hi, Nora. They have taken over. And then uh, let's go to the next slide. So how do we make this happen in a very, in a very how can I say, practical way? 
this is the this is the shift that we have this is the shift that is happening but this is how we function at uh, passion profit passion profit is the mother company of uh, all these other brands you hear about so I, I just want to I want to share with you today it gives me great joy to share with you uh, our team and you're probably wondering I thought she said she was going to talk about impactful legacy you cannot have a legacy without a team and legacy is not for your children legacy is for the people you are called to serve that the work you are called to do continues long after you're gone I always make fun that when I get to heaven Heaven, I will help people turn their passion into profit. <laughs> Cynthia, are you coming to heaven? Yes. Why <laughs> so we're going I... to do from that conversation there. Nora, yes. are you planning to go to heaven? Definitely. Right. I'm in. Down. So we're going to yes. have founders. I don't know what we'll call it there, but we're going to have founders conversation by Heavenly the, the viewer side somewhere. <laughs> All right. So this is the passion profit team. And I like calling it the expert team. It's the expert team because everyone is an expert in their area of calling. It's a team that believes in, we believe together we can do more, walking the journey together and ensuring founders are well informed. Everyone on this picture brings a value to this table. I'm going to start from the left. This is the team that runs Passion Profit and SME Founders Association. There's one person who is not here. She was, uh, she was in Masai Mara the day we took this picture, Phyllis Maida. So the, uh, when you start from the left, that is Maurice. Maurice is the CEO of SFA. Maurice is an international trade expert. <laughs> my, my friend, when the guy speaks English, we sit down and take notes. He has worked with people in Japan, people in Hong Kong, and I'm not saying people in the market, in government, all right? So he's the one who is saying SFA is supporting uh, founders to enact fairer policies, to empower SMEs, and to make sure that we get elevated. You know, there's things coming along. One of the things when we talk about elevation at SME Founders Association, we are talking about exchange, exchange of information, exchange of uh, exchange of resources, and all this information is on the website because we are transparent. So next to him there is uh, the fabulous Chesubire. Chesubire is our operations director. When Chesubire joined the team, I thought Chesubire was going to take care of communication because that is, you know, uh, she has a, Maurice has extensive experience, probably 30 years experience or more in international trade. He's a PhD in the making. And uh, Chisubire is the operations director. Chisubire joined the team as a communications, uh, as a communications, actually as a communications manager. In our company, we have, first we have the ambassadors, who is a specialist, and then we have the managers, and then we have the leadership team. And now when Chisubire joined, her big thing was communication. She does fantastic social media stuff. But when I started, you know, engaging, discovered this girl has done owner manager at Strathmore. She has done, I don't know what. When I talk numbers, she sits me down and says, Frida, how are we making money? The first person who has asked me in my life, Frida, how is that going to make you money? Even as she, she's very prayerful, she makes sure that what we're doing is fair. So the next person to have there is our fabulous Cindy, the community manager. I met Cindy in November last year. Actually, just before we had our activate of November, Cindy was bugging me on WhatsApp to get her a job. Cindy, remember those days? I remember. <laughs> so she used to bug me to get her a job. And she said, I asked her, what is your passion? Today she says her passion is youth, but she told me her passion is communication. And this person playing with the slides, I beg you, I beg you, can I just introduce the expert team so they can see who is supporting everything that we do? It's not Frida. Frida just shows up to make noise on the camera. But I'd like you to see this. The reason I'm doing this is not to show up, but one to show you that you cannot walk alone. You cannot walk alone. You cannot do things and expect to have a legacy after you're gone. You can start building your legacy now and you don't need a lot of money to do it. All you need is a vision and a heart for people. The vision I have is to help, that God has given me, is to help SMEs grow and succeed. Cindy, when I met Cindy, her, she told me her passion was communication. And every time I put her in communication things, she freaks out. But look at how she's blossoming as the founder's uh, conversation host. And she's also a community manager. She's the one who makes sure that people are comfortable in the community and that uh, 
People know what is going on. So the best person to be the host, all right? And she's, <laughs> she loves her big passion when she tells you that about youth, her big passion is she wants people to, she wants, uh, she wants the young and the, she wants the young to create communities of the young and the old because she knows the young, <laughs> the, the young need mentorship. The old want to mentor, but we don't know how to handle the young. So Cindy, that is what Cindy wants to, uh, that is what Cindy is aspiring to. And what a good example. Here I am the old and there she is the young. <laughs> I'm probably, <laughs> she's probably, I'm probably three times her age. So I would tell you my age, <laughs> all right. And then next to Cindy, of course, is Frida, and the big mouth, you know, lady there. And I love founders. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I knew I was going to be a business owner. I didn't realize that God was calling me to support business owners. I'm not, um, I'm not perfect by any means, I don't, I'm, but I'm progressive. Well, and if anybody saw me in 2009 and the freedom of today, we are not the same, both spiritually and physically. The person next there is the girl who brings profit into the passion. I told her from day one after, she joined Activate in November. Uh, as a, She was one of the students of Activate in November and she said she has been following me for a while. We worship at Mabuno together. And when I was doing a one-on-one -on -one review for her, she said something and I was like, you have just put yourself in the box. She says, I love doing numbers. I can do them anytime for free. I told her, welcome on board. You are our new finance director. All right. So it's not about CV, long CVs. I don't look at CVs. I look at your character, how we are working together, how you love this passion. Because when I'm gone, these are the people that are going to carry on this dream, not my children, but they're going to make sure my children eat, I hope. <laughs> They talk to us, Vizuri, we will hakikisha watakuna. <laughs> See, my profit will be stored in some corner somewhere. They'll be coming for my profit check. Power <laughs> too. <laughs> the next person there, that beautiful lady is a chemist, a researcher. She's a fantastic project manager. This is the lady who keeps me in check. When it comes to when it comes to information, when it comes to data, she's the one who lets us know how many people have checked into our events, how many people have signed up, how many people need what, whether I'm at Founders Conversation or at KCB or at the Paricom. This is the lady that keeps us in check. Her name is um, Lillian Kowech. Lillian Kowech is a chemist. PhD material, and she's going to, her passion is helping people use uh, organic stuff for their beauty, their body, and for wellness, and that is the business that she's building, and then that superstar next to her, my God, that is our IT guru, she's the one who's making sure we are looking fabulous on Zoom right now, and that is Jackie, Jackie, uh, Jackie went to school to do uh, website development, and she's in the process of finishing that, but Jackie is extremely I mean, she's happy to experiment things. When I tell, I do a video when I'm doing a newsletter and I send it to her and I tell her, you're the one who's going to be doing the newsletter. Today, you all receive an email after the event. It is Jackie who does it. And that is not something she learned in school. Why am I saying that? We are so stuck up about the things we learned in school or the things we carried out in corporate. And all those things are good, but some of them are not working right now. So you're going to be, you must be willing to experiment things to get to your new level and not your next level. Jackie, good job. And next to him, the cool guy in the dark shades, that's our IT director. And I mean, Jao, Jao was in, I think my second or third class of Fashion Profit when Fashion Profit was still being held in my house. And he, he has his own company called Tech Designs. And so he does all, you see all, we have three websites running at the same time. It is Njao and Jackie that make it happen. So a good example right there, Jao, Jao is IT director. Uh, what's her name? Jackie is IT manager. And then now other IT people who will come that don't know the ropes will be IT ambassadors or IT specialists. Uh, Lillian over there is, the, is a project manager. She helps us manage different projects. She came in as an ambassador in the Aspire program. So she was a project specialist. Now she can be given, she can be given work as a manager and she carries it out. Now in, in, um, in traditional hierarchy, you have a CEO, heads of departments, and then managers, I don't know what, what, what. In our structure, we have the leadership team, who are, oh, we have the leadership team and then we have the managers and then we have the specialists who are the people who come in either as aspire or fresh activators getting ready to be absorbed in the network. 
So I hope that makes sense. And before I go, the next, the cool model there, that's our office manager, Molly. Molly is setting up her company, Molly House Management Systems. And uh, she loves cleaning. She loves keeping people organized. She keeps me organized. She's the one who makes sure that everybody gets their airtime and their bus fare. So she's our office manager. And of course, next there, Melvin, the Dactari, that's our course director. Melvin loves to He's a speaker, he's a Toastmaster, he teaches people how to speak, he's a dentist, and he's also an NLP specialist, neuro something, I can't pronounce the word, and he's also the CEO of Passion Profit. Now, you're probably wondering what, yeah, this is what, where the mind shift is, where impactful legacy is going. And this is not for everybody. This is for that person that is saying, I'm ready to make the mind shift. I'm ready to move from traditional hierarchy into a network hierarchy. I'm ready to build a community for myself. I can show you how to do that. So let's go. So this is the expert team. This is the team that supports, that makes Passion Profit and Founders, SME Founders Association and Founders Network happen. Founders Network isn't, if you become a member of the association, then you become part of the network. Let's carry on to the next slide and let me just take, uh, let me uh, share about the leadership team. So I've shared with you everybody in the team there. The only person missing here is our brand, is our brand director, a uh, membership director, uh, Phyllis Maina, Phyllis Maida. And of course, that is Melvin, that is our CEO. So remember, we start with the leadership team. And then we, and then this is our operations director, Chesubire, that is the CEO of SAP, SAP Founders Association, that is Frida, and then that is Jawa IT director, and this is the profit in the passion, our finance director, Irene. All these people, now this is where this is going. These are not employees of Passion Profit or SFA. These are directors. Each thing that they do, each thing that they do brings revenue into the organization. When Melvin creates courses, we make money, we all share. Shesubire makes sure that we are organized and she has a product called Online Business Experts. I'm going to share with that with you in a minute. He's, he heads the association and then I make noise here like I'm doing today. And then he does all our IT. If you want fantastic websites, learning management systems, uh, Njao is the guy, not that he's the one doing them. We have a team under him that gets it done, all right? They're the leaders. That's why they're the leaders. They're, I tell that each one of them is a revenue engine, all right? And this is the profit. Uh, she's a profit first professional. We do profit first with her, but she's an accountant and has worked over 10 years in one of the leading hotels. I didn't ask her if I can tell you that today, so I won't tell you, all right? So... We are a team of entrepreneurs in different fields working together. We are here. Sorry. So we are a team of experts. So for anything passion profit, from the day I started passion profit, I said I respect our I respect our our technical institutions. But I noticed that we have so many people that are, have gone to school, have papers, but we have so many problems that need to be fixed. So like Cindy tells you, I'm always going around looking for the best, you know, looking for something or for how to fix founders. Uh, so I've gone around the world to get uh, insights and strategies and proprietary information to help founders uh, eradicate poverty. <laughs> All right. That's why we have Profit First Professional. That is a proprietary uh, partnership. We have a business hierarchy of needs, which is also a proprietary partnership to help founders understand what needs to be fixed next. And it's the, it's the methodology we use when you're in a mentorship program. And then what else do we do? And then we make sure that you figure out your passion and turn it into profit in the Activate program. So talking about impactful legacy, for you to leave a legacy, there are a couple of things that I want to, I want to share with you. Uh, so the first one is you need to have a vision, all right? And you need to have a, your vision should be rooted in your purpose, all right? So my purpose is to help people turn their passion into profit. So my vision is to help SMEs grow and succeed because I saw statistics that when my passion profit was started and I was alone doing everything myself, I noticed the statistics said that we have more than 17 million SMEs and less than 80% are going to make it to their, third, to their fifth birthday. So I made it my purpose to ensure that that changes in my lifetime. So today we have programs that we put, uh, we, founders go through and we have a 
what we call it an M and E monitoring and evaluation system to ensure that we can track where you are when you came and where you are after you leave. And that's why this year we say that anybody that joins the network under the Activate program after 12 months, if you do what you're supposed to do and your life doesn't change and you don't make money, you deserve to get your money back. I think you heard that from the course director last week. And we're serious. We're saying, because you see, you can go for all these little, little courses, which are great. You can go for these free webinars and take notes, but it reaches a point where you need a structured way to grow your business. And it cannot happen in a two-day program, in a five-day program. And that's why we are working with you for 12 months. And every month you get, you get a micro learning, you get a little chunk of detail to help you. And these are not assignments for you to go and do in, in the middle of the night with your legs in the water so you don't sleep like in school. Cindy, did you used to do that when you're in school? When no. we're in school and we're going to do, when we're given assignments and we had to stay awake, we're putting yeah. our legs in water to do the homework. Nipi <laughs> Abulifanya my sleep is powerful. It will overpower my water in legs. I will just sleep. <laughs> As we used to put our, our feet in the water to stay awake and finish assignments. Well, so the assignments... Just leave it to God. <laughs> <laughs> our assignments at uh, Founders Network are a little different. So, so that is that. So the first thing you need to have a purpose and package your purpose. And then out of your purpose will come your vision. Your vision is a cause to change a part of the world. And how you find how you find your course is this thing that you enjoy doing, who needs it? How is it fixing the world? And you can even go and look at SDGs, and SDGs are there in the online. You can go and look at sustainable development goals and figure out the thing you're doing. Which goal is it going to help achieve? And GPOC's there. At Passion Profit, the goal that we are helping achieve is number one, no more poverty. And number eight, decent, sustainable work for all. That's why we help you to generate reliable recurring revenue. If you're patient with us and stay with us for the year, you will get that revenue. People come for one day for the one day workshop, the one day coaching workshop, and they want to get a million or more within that time without doing the work. You can't, my friends. So don't say that thing is not working. Stay with it for the long haul. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't deviate from it. And then come back and say it's not working or show us the result and we'll all be happy. So let's carry on. So that's the leadership team. Have a purpose. Package your purpose into a vision. Make sure your vision is connected to the SDG goals so that the world can be a better place because you existed. That way it's going to be very intentional. We are talking about building an impactful legacy, and I am sharing with you the passion profit legacy and how we are incorporating other founders to ensure that all founders are happy and successful today and long before, um, long after I'm gone. So this is our Aspire team. These are the managers. They came in as specialists, and now they have been promoted to managers because they each have a line of work that they do. And when you have a manager, a manager is somebody you delegate to and make sure they bring an outcome. So they're still not coming back to you asking for questions back and forth. Lillian knows that she needs to let us know who is coming to the meetings, how, uh, who is coming into the meetings, who is coming into the programs, how many people do we have in the community and how are we supporting them? She's right now creating a monitoring and evaluation, evaluation system for us. I didn't ask her to do it. When she was having her review, she said, Frida, because data is her thing. So it's her role to make sure that around data, we are looking good. She said, Frida, we need this kind of, we need this kind of tool and I'll send you some information and we'll start creating it. So at Fashion Profit, if you come look, waiting to be told, you will do this, you will do this, you're going to be late. We show up with your gifts and you perform. If you whine too much, you'll see me waving to you goodbye because we are, and let me say this with a lot of love and respect. The, the structure of coming and finding everything done so you can show the world that we are ready, we are all done. Our structure, we are doing it as we go and we are helping you see it. And we are also having young people coming on board to get to learn and earn. Lillian, uh, Lillian does all the data stuff, Jackie does IT. And she also does, she does IT, so the websites, the Zoom things and all that as she's 
learning and earning. Molly is the office manager and she makes sure that the office is running TikTok. People get their money when they need their money. The office is clean. And she's now creating Molly's home management systems so that busy professionals can have, can have, can be more productive. You see, so she's training girls who will go out there and serve you in your homes so you can focus on doing your work from home and your children without getting stressed. And Cindy right there, Cindy is the host of Founders Conversation. Cindy is working on two things. And what's her name? Jackie is also working on how to deliver us from garbage. So before as she's developing that, she's getting her IT skills in place. Cindy is the host of the manager for Founders Conversation. She makes sure that the scripts are ready. Yes, we do have scripts so that we are not falling all over the place. She makes sure that dry run is done because communication is her thing. And she wants to help older people and younger people connect for a better society. So she's doing that and helping her to understand how to relate with older people as she also develops her, you know, her communication skills. The lady she's working with on Founders Conversation is is an act is a BYY and activate grad. She's going to be an act, uh, soon to be activate graduate. So she's in the communication manager level. So Cindy and her working together helps Cindy get mentored, but also helps her get you know her organization in order. Am I making sense? If I'm making sense, let me see a yes yes in the chat box there. If I'm not making sense, you can leave your question there. So this is the management and support team. And then we have a team, the team below Aspire is the new volunteers, the new youth that come in, then they get polished to get into a managerial role. These four joined us in January this year. I'm talking about Impactful Legacy and how we have created a networking structure. We are not going to wait for investors to give us funding. We have said that we are carrying on our, ourselves and we are creating a huge program. Make sure you, you save August the 6th because we have said enough of COVID, we are helping SMEs recover. And our CEO announced last week and he's going to announce again next week probably or on the that on the 6th you're going to have an event to help SMEs recover so save the date August 6th or if you're interested put your email there and one of the one of the ambassadors in the program will make sure we get it for you so this is an apprenticeship program so if you have a young person at home who they, there's something they enjoy doing but they're neither here nor there they can join the Aspire program. Joining the Aspire program, you start with Activate. When you get into Activate, you go through the five-day bootcamp. The next one is happening next week, actually. The five-day bootcamp, what it does, this is not a regular technical entrepreneurship program. It is a program to help you define your passion and how can I say, define your passion and proficiency and package it into a stream of revenue. So I've realized that people register a company and then what do they do next? They, they do a, a logo, a business card, and a Facebook page or a website. And that is a long way to start a company. At Activate, we get you knowing what is the passion, how do you get into the market, and we carry on. So I think Cindy is going to give us a bundle there. I don't know who's giving us the bundle for that today. So, so far, we have I've shared Impactful Legacy, have a vision. Make, uh, your vision should be tied to your purpose. Your purpose should be solving a problem, a problem that, that you can be paid for, <laughs> all right? And then what else do we do? You need people. You can have the traditional hierarchy models. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just showing you how to make it impactful and <laughs> affordable, all right? Or you can, have a, you can have a network of partners that you work with the way we do. Our leadership team is, net, is, a, is partners and also our and also our, what do you call it? Our, our support team is also, you know, a network of partners. And we're looking for more and more because we're going to go all around Africa. Our CEO declared that, that this is an African vision, not a vision just for us. So let's, uh, so there you have it. So you, you need a vision, package your, you need a purpose, define your purpose, package it, package it into your vision, a value proposition based on the problem you're solving, the value, our value proposition is to help SMEs grow and succeed. And then what else after that? Da, 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 da. And then you need people and you need people based on your vision. So the people that I chose is because we are founders and these are founders. So they can work here. They can serve at the Founders Network as they're building their, as they're building their empires. 
And what I love about this team is that we all love God. We pray together, we fight, we kiss and make up. All right. So that's the good thing. So don't think we are a perfect team. All righty. Cindy, do you have any question for me? I can take a breath. Mm. I can have, I can take a breath of water. We have you a question. To talk about, you have any question? Let's see if we have any questions in the chat box. There was a I question. Can... Someone was asking, how did you make such a beautiful, how did you come up with such a team? I how long will it take you to build this Ten amazing? years. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> All right. Like, uh, go back to the picture with the expert team. All right. I met Maurice. I met Maurice in. Uh, I met Maurice in 2000. In 2020, 2017 or 2016, when we were getting ready for the Orbit Nairobi. 2017, we we're getting ready for Orbit Nairobi. Inter no, Orbit International Conference was being held in Nairobi for the first time. It was being held in Africa, and Maurice was invited to be on the panel. And I was like, this man. I'm not letting him go. And not that he's going to be my boyfriend, no. Because some of you, when you see a man and woman, that's where your mind goes. But he has a lovely family. I know his wife. His wife knows me. We've had lunch at my house. That is when I knew that this guy is for the next level. So I started, I started having a you know, relationship with him. We'd be in touch. We'd email each other every now and then. I've known Chesubire for donkey years from far. And then a friend had, a, a friend had an event and were put on the same table. And we reconnected. The rest is history. So everybody on this team, I have a relationship with. So it's not something you can do overnight, but it's something you can start today by defining what do you want to do? How do you want to be remembered? And, and start developing relationships very intentionally. At Passion Profit, when you come to the Activate program, we have what we call uh, our key focus areas for leadership is one, we help you to love and lead yourself first. And we also help you to leverage time, talent, and treasure of others because we are not taught that in school, all right? So I call that our proprietary material. The next L is we help you learn the things you need to learn to, to grow and sell your passion. And finally, we help you build an impactful legacy by looking at what is your purpose, what is the movement you're supposed to create, and how do you get started? So to answer your question, Cindy, this team was not built yesterday. It's over 10 years, one relationship at a time, listening to God, guiding me, because this is his work. So I cannot hide God in the back end. And I'm very sorry for anybody who gets offended when I talk about God. All right, Cindy. Any other question for me before we... I see there's 9.32. Uh, what am I... What no other question. But take us right. a brief through the OB. Is this All right, so let, let's go to the slide. And yeah. uh, so one of the things, uh, one of the ways, because the apprenticeship program, we call the apprenticeship program a learn and earn program. You've had Cindy say that over and over again every time she starts the show, if you're paying attention. And um, in, the, in the learn and earn program, the youth, the Aspire team that I've shown you, we have project management, we have event management, we have social media management, you know, all the things, how can I call them? I want to call them the profit management, <laughs> the profit and promotion management. And it's the Aspire team that handle all these things. We get contracts, we get projects, and then they get paid and also passion profit gets paid. So the, the product we have created out of that, you know, to generate revenue is the online business experts. Then you'll see their online business experts help you enhance your visibility and productivity. You don't have to do everything alone because you are the founder. You don't have to do all your social media posts. You need to be designing your business. You need to be thinking, how are you going to get more clients? What are the, what are the different products and services that are coming out of your passion and allow somebody else to do the social media management? Many people see me on social media and you think I'm there all the time. No, it's these wonderful experts that are there all the time. So we provide lead generation strategies and toolkits because posting on social media a flyer and putting special offer will not get you clients. But the online business experts will create a strategy for you. And you see when, when they're working, they're working with the business development support of the leadership team. We have Njao there, the IT director. We have Chesubi Red there who's in operations and knows how to cost things. And then we have Frida Winger, the business development person. We have Irene there. So when you come to us, we are not just creating you a flyer. 
We are helping you think through, is this the way your brand should be positioned? And that's why they're the online business ex experts, enhancing your visibility and productivity. So if we tell you a logo costs X amount and you tell us so-and-so can do for you a logo for 2000, we tell you, praise God, go to so-and-so quickly. All right. Recently, a lady came to me to do a logo. In fact, Pastor Coach Bimpe, I think, is here. If you see anything from Connect Coaching Center, it's this team that comes up with those things. Another lady came and said she wanted a flyer. She wants a flyer to get clients. I told her you can't get clients with a flyer. So I helped her. So we help you think through the process of getting clients, which is what we do, the lead generation strategies. We listen to what your business is doing because posting on social media, posting on WhatsApp groups, all those are great and getting likes. But what we do is we help you get a lead and the lead is somebody you can call and they can talk to you. I think Roslyn shared with you that when we're doing the social media strategies. So that is what online business experts do. We enhance your visibility. You must be seen for people to know you, like you, trust you. The people on this team are not people who started working with Frida yesterday. Most of them are people that have been with Passion Profit, following me on social media, chatting with me on the side like Cindy used to do after we did before she got on to activate in November. And I told her, I'm going to have an event. Can you come? And the reason I told her, can you come? She said she like, she's passionate about communication. And then when I met her, she was very lively. I was like me when I show her, people run away. So I said, Susie will be the person who will be showing up when we have events. When we used to have physical events, I tell her, when I'm running late, she'd say, Frida, where are you? People have come. I said, so what? See, you are there. Start talking. And when I land in the room at Iway, I find her talking. And look at how bubbly she is. So if you're a young person out there wondering, how can I harness my passion? Online business experts is waiting for you, but you need to be in the program so that you can be an online business expert. So we, we, we help you with corporate identity. We do, you can have a virtual admin assistant. Maybe you're saying you need somebody to check your emails and pick up your phones and stuff like that. We have virtual admin assistants. Maybe you're going to have an event, a virtual event, and you need it all set up well. We can support you with that. Maybe you have a project that you need to handle and you don't know how to do it on your own. Don't die alone. All right, the online business experts will help you. Thank you so much, Cindy, for reminding me about that. And I think I'm going to leave it there and have you ask, because I see it's already 9.30. Do we have any questions? If you have, all right, it's the time for questions and answers. If you have uh, any questions, please put them on the chat box. If anybody can see a question for me, um, and if this is this was helpful for you, you can open your microphone and just speak to me and let me know how it is. Somebody is asking if it will be recorded. Um, all righty. Yeah, okay. it will be recorded. Uh, that is the only question that I gave you that I saw. I don't think okay. we can do it. So maybe someone asking about the activate class, which we will talk about in the news. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not you want me to say a little bit about activate class? Or you have, what do you want us to do? You're the boss. Tell me. No, you tell us a little bit about activate. Alrighty. So. Activate, um, active every month. You see, Passion Profit has been around since 2009, and we have been having, uh, since 2009, I've been supporting people to turn their passion into profit. We started with an eight week class, and the eight week class was eight sessions that we had once a week. Njao was in that class, our IT director. And what happens is I would meet for two hours, and then I decide, and then people would, you know, I'm going on leave, I can't get time off. So we started a boot camp. We do a weekend boot camp. So we do four lessons in a, on Saturday and four on Sunday. And then I continue working with them. So we have changed a lot and now we are online. It's so exciting to be online. So we've kicked off the Founders Profit Academy and the program has been designed to have five modules. And in the five modules, what we do We've put it, we made it part of the Founders Network membership program so that when you come into the network, many times people were coming into the network and uh, their business was not in order. And of course, it's not about perfection. But what we realized is having different things to do with them over a period of 12 months is more beneficial than having giving them all the information at once because you don't need all the information at once. Just like when you're going to have a baby, you know the baby will need diapers, one day the baby will need to go to school and all that, but you're not told, you can't do all those things at once. So in these five modules, we have figured out the key things that you need, what is your passion, how do you define it and package it into, 
into a, you package it into a product or service, how do you get to market quickly? And getting to market quickly, we, we show you a lead generation strategy uh, that how to get to, your, to do your promotion and stuff. And then what else do we do? We, uh, we introduce you to the profit literacy so that you, when you start making money, you separate your money right from day one and stop being broke and looking at historical data. And then on the fifth day, so this, uh, this is going to be the standard of the program. We did the pilot last month. So this month we are going to have five days, and in the five days you'll have a, you'll have a, you have your lesson. The lesson will be live every morning and a brief. And then I'm going to be working with uh, uh, Dr. Melvin on this one. And then on Wednesday we have a boot, uh, we have an evening session where we come and see how far you've gone for the last three days. And then on the fifth day we do the planning action together because we realized in the last session when we gave them the action plans to do on their own, there's a bit of drag. So we have we have we have reorganized it to make sure that on day five we do the uh, action plan together so that out of there when we get into the coaching they have their act what we're calling your the activate canvas they know what their passion is what is the product that they need to sell and this is even if you, you don't necessarily want to register business but you're saying i need a side hustle i need to know what is my passion how can i package it into a, a product this class is for you all right so you you can join this class and i'm going to give a uh, <laughs> I always make sure to tell people that when I have a shower, things happen. So this morning when I was having a shower, I got a leading in my heart to give people a discount. And the way it's going to work is uh, number one, we're going to have activate is 12,000 plus VAT and you can, and then you become a member of the network. You don't have to be a member of the network. You can just pay to, to get into the activate class next week on Monday to Friday. And if you do that, you're also going to get pitch for profit and the Cindy is going to put those up for you. So if you pay for Activate, I'm going to give you a discount. Number one, you, you, I'm not giving you a discount. I'm giving you a value bundle. And the value bundle is you're going to pay 10000 and you will get Activate, the five-day model, and you'll get Pitch for Profit, and you'll get what else will you get? Cindy, what else are we giving them? The Profit Assessment. Well, those are three things that you need. So people were crying to me that COVID, COVID, COVID. So I said, all right, we're going to give you a bundle for 10K plus VAT, you'll pay 1140. You'll get Activate five days with me and Melvin in the Activate Bootcamp, and you'll get Pitch for Profit, and you'll get the Profit First Assessment. Alrighty, so that is what, uh, that is all, Cindy. You can carry on, take it. <laughs> I see somebody uh, saying yes, 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 and yes. Coach B. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's calling me, yes. Hello, this is Paulina Frida. I have Talk a question. Ask. Yes, I wanted to know when a business is a startup, you uh, you start by talking about how you build your network, and it has taken you the whole ten years. So, what happens to a startup that does not have the network that you have? What do we do? Uh, Paulina, yes. thank you for your question. When I started in two thousand nine, I was. You can calculate how old I was. I was born in nineteen sixty six. How old was I? Who can tell me how old was I? So that means I have been living. There are people around me. Network is a mindset. Because I think when you hear network, you think these are high people, whatever you think, I don't know. But from day one, let me not even say from day one, I've been in business over 20 years. So I've been developing relationships. When I started, I had a vision. So I'm always looking out for people that I can work with. So even you, if you have started today, you don't have to be where I am. I've been around for a long time. I'm 54 years old. So the key thing is don't compare yourself with me, but you can start. Look at where did you go to school? Let's not even go to where did you go to school? What is your vision? I know you make bags. Why do you make bags? I'm going to look at your skin because I know in your skin, we are going to get other things that you can do so that you're not just generating revenue from your bags. Because you're in the program, in the next month, you're going to look at how can your passion, in fact, you're going to, not even next month, on Thursday and Friday when we go for the BYY workshop, we are going to look at your skin to see what other things can you do, but who are your networks? I hope you put it in your skin. That's why we make you do your skin. And in skin is for network. So if you're in the program already, I want you to relax because next week, when, this week actually on Thursday and Friday when we're going to BYY, we're going to talk about networks. And 
The biggest thing I want to tell founders, never think of yourself as a startup disadvantaged, ever. You are a human being, you have a, you have a goal to achieve, you know people. Start with the people that you know. Secondly, be in the right space. Being in the right space means, Polina, you want to sell bags. Are you in any other group where women or men who want bags are there? When you're asked to talk about your bags, do you have, you know, do you have a way to talk to them about your bags? The good news is you're going to be in the pitch for profit because you're already in the program. Anybody who is saying pitch for profit 2,500, I'm not coming. You, this is going to be your worst mistake because for 2,500, which ends today, you're going to find out what are the words to use to introduce yourself, what are the words to use when you're pitching to an investor, when you're pitching at a networking event, when you're talking to people at a networking event. So if every time in a group you're asked to talk about yourself and you never know what to say or you're not saying anything, invest this 2,500 for your own good because we brought you a communication expert and works with business leaders, not SMEs. All right, business leaders pay top dollar. But she said, I talked to her about what I do. And she said, Frida, you're doing such a good work. I'm, I want to support. How can I help? I said, do a program for us. <laughs> and that's how we got into the partnership. Paulina, how did I meet uh, Anne? I was at an Orbit event and I met Anne. Many people have said, Frida, why do you fly to America to, you know, to that, to, to events? Because I want to expand my network. All right, but they want to go to America and come back with the same money that they made. That is the problem of SMEs. You cannot pay for a ticket to go for an event and expect that you will get your money back. This business of getting your money back every time you spend money is a curse because when you sow a seed, you sow, you sow maize, it brings out cops. So you must know that when you're investing, you invest in appropriate spaces and get ready to reap a harvest. So you see, I saw to go to Owit, now I have a partner for communication, for business owners and for professionals forever, all right? How can you equate that to the ticket that I paid? Paulina, have I answered your question? <laughs> so start today with where you're at and you're in the program, we're going to continue helping you. Don't expect your life to transform overnight. You need to be intentional. I was intentional from the day I started. I knew I was, going, I, was, I was called to help people turn passion into profit. So as a business owner, when you come to our program and we talk to you about leveraging time, talent, and treasure, then you start paying attention to who you hang around with and who hangs around you. You have to be very intentional in life. So this is not magic. It's not just me being on my knees, no. It is being intentional from day one. When you start your business, you have a purpose, you have a vision, you have a very clear value proposition, you have the right people around you. You can choose the people around you. People will come, some you will select. Not everybody stays. It's the person who's aligned to the vision that stays. Everybody can remain your friend, but your network of partners has to be safely guarded. I hope that I've, I've answered your question. Paulina, has that answered your question? Paulina, did I answer you? Mm -hmm. I think we've lost her. All right. Okay, so carry on, Cindy. I'm going to oh, look if there are any okay. questions. Okay, so hmm, with our founder in the house, there's always a lot going on. Thank you so much, Frida for talking to us about impactful legacy and letting founders know more about the team and the networks. Oh, and the 10,000 bundle. How can I forget about that? Thank you so much for that. So a lot has been going on in our community and I'd like to share some news of what is going on in our community with you. Right, Nora? <laughs> Nora. <laughs> it's a Nora. great time to be alive. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Has a lot I, not I love it. I love it when Frida is in the house. She just lights <laughs> the fires under your seats. Man, <laughs> I think we should be having these conversations on Monday. We just get so fired up. I love it. <laughs> Monday suggestion. Okay. Yes. So, I like to tell founders of what is going on in our community. And a lot has been going on and it's very exciting. Don't you think so? Yep. We have the Pitch for Profit Challenge. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. We have so, the activate. <laughs> mm -hmm. So where do you want us to begin from? Where do you think we should start telling them the news from? Let's begin for the pitch for profit challenge. 
absolutely so hmm so, so this founder, bit, bit for profit is an online challenge it begins on uh, 27th like frida mentioned uh, the challenge is, it's what you need right now i think if you were here last uh, week uh, when uh, when we had sadia on this is absolutely what you want to be in it is it's to be held at uh, founders profit academy it's not a webinar yeah we have Ad, uh, Anne Friedman, the communications expert that um, who spoke to us um, some time back. She will share insights on communication in the morning and you'll have a question and answer session uh, with Frida, <clears throat> just like she mentioned. You will get to meet new people, you'll practice pitching. How awesome is that? Yeah, and this will be in an exclusive self environment with expert feedback, yeah. You said all this exciting experience will be happening at the Founders Profit Academy. How do we get to participate? Uh, just make a payment at foundersprofitacademy.com under events and you will receive uh, a full, full details in your email. Yeah, there's also a bonus of getting the profit assessment for free. Hmm. So Founders, there it is. Go to the Pro Founders Profit Academy and events. Sign up for the challenge if you have not yet done so. The early bird offer ends today. So for this pitch for profit challenge, I really need to get my pitch in order. I will be there and ready to engage and perfect my pitch. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And remember, there's also the July Activate. Oh, the Activate what? cohort of mm -hmm. the July. That one kicks off on the 27th too. Yep. Okay. So, oh my, Activate. The pilot was last month, and this, this month is going to be our second one. Activate is an intensive program consisting of an, exist, of an exciting five-day bootcamp experience that will see you have a third eye and transform the way you do business. You will come out with a clear value proposition, business model, and promotion action. This one will be able to usher you into a two-day best year yet online workshop to sharpen your annual goals. Nora, this is a course you must do as a founder of Express for Success. I'm already signed on. What do you mean? I'm oh, in. Ha. Both fit Whoa. in. <laughs> <laughs> so the profit assessment bonus is for free if you sign up for the Activate cohort. So you will also get the five-day intensive bootcamp, and you'll also get the Pitch for Profit Challenge. Our founder today has said it is for 10,000. For 10,000, if you sign up for Activate July cohort to 10,000, we are giving you the profit assessment free, the pitch for profit challenge, and you'll also get the five day intensive bootcamp. Wow. So there it is, founders. Sign up for Activate July cohort just by visiting our Founders Profit Academy website and get the profit assessment and pitch for profit for free. Imagine, I promised you something that was better than <laughs> breakfast. Isn't that better than eggs and bacon? Now this is getting better. You are serving them in, in large amounts. <laughs> so the next, the next week on our Founders Conversation, did you know that after the challenge, the participants of Pitch for Profit will be celebrating their pitches? Oh, wow. Okay, so that marks the final day of the challenge. It will be at the peak of, it will be the peak of it all. Huh? Yes. I like to celebrate. Who does not love celebration? <laughs> I also love celebration. Actually, you love the fine things of life. So yep. next week, Founders Conversation will be a paid event at a minimum fee of 500 shillings. Those who have signed up for the Pitch for Profit Challenge, it is, included, it is inclusive of the Founders Conversation fee. Okay. So by paying for the pitch for profit challenge, uh, I do not have to pay for the 500, right? No, you do not have to. If you pay for it, and actually if you take advantage of our early bird offer that ends today, you get to come to the Founders Conversation without paying for the 500. The 500 is for those who will not have paid for the pitch for profit. So that date is a paid event, the Founders Conversation. Go to the Founders Profit Academy and you'll pay for 500 for the event on that day. Oh, wow. Wow, that, that's an absolute uh, must to attend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cindy. Mm -hmm. I hope we have all understood that. Well, at least I do understand that. So any, as we conclude, uh, I'd like to quote uh, Gary uh, Vaynerchuk, and he says, please think about your legacy. 
because you are writing it every day. Yeah, so my takeaway is to write the best and most unique way that I can. Just um, on the polls uh, for legacy, we had 7.6% uh, saying yes. Uh, we had 23% saying no, and 69% working, uh, work, work in progress, working on it. Yeah, so we all need to actually come in and build this legacy. Yeah, so wasn't that uh, very soul stirring, Cindy? What do you think? Ha, the legacy part today has been so st soul stirring, and the the ten thousand bundle that our founder has brought today, that one has also been so interesting for me. So I'm also hoping founders are heading to the Founders Profit Academy to sign up for all these exciting events in our community, so as not to miss anything. So let us meet here next Thursday for a celebration. Not what are we doing next Thursday? Celebrating. Exactly. So celebrate, celebrate. Let us meet here next Thursday to celebrate our pitches and do that virtual networking. So do not miss out. Bye-bye. It was such an engaging session. So Nora will be here to serve you breakfast again next <laughs> Thursday. It, it can only get better. It can only get better. So good to have you. Thank you for tuning in. We 